Hey guys, how are you today? Uh, it's your favorite person in the whole world, Zara, of course. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. I'll jump right into it. I know you guys haven't heard from me in six months now. And I hate that it's gotten to that point because, you know, I started these videos in a time when I was very vulnerable. I had nobody, I had a lot of issues and nobody to talk about them with. And that's when YouTube was really the best thing for me. Um, but you know, since then I've grown a lot and my videos have grown a lot and, and I'm in a much better place now, of course. And you know, I'm, I hate that I let my videos get to this point though, because I loved being able to help to give back to the community. Um, and you know, I really want to keep that going, but I mean, here's the other thing is that I feel like all those issues now are in my past and going forward in my life is I feel like I want to put those those issues on like the back burner kind of if you understand me um you know I don't want that to be my entire focus in life going forward um and so I think that's why my videos kind of died off is that I really don't have as much to say about these topics anymore um I do have a topic for you guys today and I'll get into that a bit after but my main point is that, and I'll, I'll, t I'll start off with this, is that um, I actually am planning on making a second channel, and I'm going to be putting my all into that one. Um, I'm going to have a few different series on the channel. I, it's all in the planning stages so far. I don't have a channel set up yet. Um, but I have a few different series planned for the channel. I've, I would like to say that I'll be posting daily, but I mean, I hear that's really difficult. Um... I've been watching other YouTubers, like other up-and-comers, and that's what seems to be working well for them, is posting as much as possible. And, you know, having content that people like to watch. And I want to put my all into it and see if, you know, it goes anywhere. Um, that said, you know, I don't want to leave this community behind either. You know, so my, my new channel is not going to have the same kind of content that would be on this channel. Um, anything that does relate to that, I will probably, I'll maintain this channel, I'll probably post on that, but I would love it if you guys could also follow my new channel as well. Um, wh I will post when I have it all set up, I'll post the details and send you guys over there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way, I mean, because I love YouTube and I hate that I stopped doing it. You know, I think the last YouTube, uh, the last video you guys would have seen of me was probably about six months ago. Um, and you know, I, I mean, when I started doing this, I would post maybe not daily, but like two or three times a week. And then now six months ago, honestly. Um, anyway, that's not the, what I did want to talk about in this video is that I, I missed the chance to do a one year video that would have been uh, back in December that I would have done a one-year video. So what this is, I guess, is a 14-month uh, post-op how am I doing kind of video. Um, and, you know, I, I do not at all regret my decision to get the surgery. I absolutely love it. I am having issues, though. And, you know, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. Like, Like, I am so fucking happy I had the surgery. I, I, in that sense, I couldn't feel any better than I do. Um, my issue, though, is that I feel like the recovery didn't go as well as it should have. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, I'm 14 months now. I have used that part sexually with, oh, probably four or five different guys. Um, but it doesn't feel like it should. Um, and here's what, you know, kind of throws me off a bit is I've had other friends of mine, like three or four, that have had the surgery more recently than I have even. And they are, are already having much better sexual experiences than I have. Um, I mean, the first thing, though, is that you're allowed to have sex with it after three months. It took me ten months to use it sexually. And so, you know, in that time between the 10-month mark and where I am now at the 14-month mark, I've slept with probably four or five different guys. Um, and it hasn't felt very good. It's been painful for one and not 
particularly pleasant for another. You know, I, I hated doing this, but I remember how it felt to use that part when I was still pre-op. I remember the sensation and it doesn't feel like that now. Um, and, you know, hearing my friend's experiences with sex um, since that surgery, it throws me off a bit because I feel like I should be right there alongside them having these same great experiences because they're all loving it. But I'm not, you know. Um, anytime I've had sex with it, it's been unsatisfying and painful. Um, and I, I hate that I'm in this situation, you know, I don't want to be here. Um, I haven't really discussed it too in depth with the doctor yet, but that's the next plan. Um, and of course I'll, I'll tell you guys all about that when I do. But I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just also that it's, you know, I am still quite new to this and I'm only 25. I have an entire life to live now with the proper body part um and you know maybe it's just something that's happening right now maybe over time it's gonna fix itself i don't know but in the meantime i need to get this all figured out you know um the other thing though is that i was talking with some of these friends about it and here's the thing with, with me and you know dating in general right now is that Dating is kind of fucked right now. And, you know, if you're in my generation, I'm sure you know that. Guys constantly expect me to sleep with them when I've known them for, like, an hour. Or on or when I've never even met them. That's the other thing. You know, we send a few Instagram messages back and forth and they're like, Hey, baby, let's fuck. And I'm like, well, I can see from your... I mean, I, from the two pictures I've seen of you, you look physically attractive... But I mean, I need more than two pictures to go from, first of all. Um, but, you know, that's the other thing. I need more than just a physical attraction to that person, is I need to know them and I need to be attracted to who that person is. Otherwise, you know, I can't get into it. And like, and that's how dating works now is, you know, you send a few fucking Instagram messages and, and suddenly you're ready to sleep with somebody like that doesn't really work for me and so because of shit like that I've ended up and this might be bad to say judge me all you want I've slept with quite a few guys that I had no interest in whatsoever and with a lot of those guys yes that was personality wise and appearance wise like I just wasn't into them but I ended up hooking up with them because, you know, and <sighs> this is something I hate about myself is I don't like to disappoint people. And so it kind of just, you know, I, they're being nice to me and everything. And they and then they bring up like, Hey, you know what? We should fuck. And I'm like, and I'm not the kind of person most of the time who's like, you know what? I don't want to, because I, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. They'll ask why. And I'll say like, Oh, I'm not physically attracted to you. And I don't want to hurt people's feelings. And, you know, that's, that's all well and good. And that, and that puts me in a lot of situations that I don't want to be in because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. Um, so yeah, you know, I mean, I end up sleeping with a lot of people that I really would rather not sleep with. Um, and in talking about my situation with, with other friends of mine, They've said that maybe that is where in my issue lies is that if I don't have that attractiveness or if I don't have that, fuck, I don't even know what word I want to use. If I don't have that connection with that person where I actually, you know, want to do this with them, then it's not going to be good because I'm not going to be into it. And therefore, you know, it's going to be really tight, making it more painful and I don't know, like, I just don't know. I need to, I don't know. Um, my main point, though, is that I have been having issues with this part since the surgery happened. Um, yeah, I mean, I am going to go to doctors about it. 
And I'll get it figured out. I don't know. Um, and I'll let you guys know what comes of it. I mean, I really hope it improves because I don't want this to be the situation for the rest of my life, you know? Um, yeah, but okay. Back to... That's that. Back to my other point. I am going to start a second channel. I'll, when I have it all set up, I'll give you guys the deets. And I really hope that you follow me over there. I mean, of the followers I have left, that is. Because I'm sure a lot of you don't watch my videos anymore. You don't care. Because, you know, I've been gone for so long. But, you know, that's what happens. And I re if you can, follow me to my new channel. It's going to be ten times better. It's going to have a lot of great content. Uh, and yeah, I mean, because I do love these videos and I want to keep doing them, so. Okay, but that's it for now. As you guys know, mwah, I love you. And I'll keep you updated on both this situation and what's happening with my new channel. Um, let's, let's get things going. I'll talk to you guys later.